These just arrived. I purchased two, so let's see how we do. We'll be looking for full dates. We'll be looking for errors. We'll be looking for a lot of things. Here we go. So we'll do two rolls during this hunt. And that looks like a nice shape one right there. Let's get this off. How is everyone doing? Hey everybody. Welcome to the welcome to the live. We're searching Buffalo Nickels for the first time. Oh, this is going to be fun. I love Buffalo Nickels. These are very vintage coins. Let's do this. Every full whoa. Here's a 1936 full date. So everybody pretty much with Buffalo Nickels, when there's no date at all, they're about a dollar. Partial dates are about $2, and full dates are about $3. So full dates is one of the main things we're looking for. This is also a 1936, so if one of these legs was partially missing, it would be a three-and-a-half-legged buffalo worth a few hundred dollars. So this is a good start, getting a full date. Oof, 1925. 1925? Uh, let's see here. Um, it's not, this is slightly better than a regular date and it's a partial date. So this is actually about three bucks. This is cool. Nice find. Nineteen. Well, let's see the date on this one. That looks like 1920, unless you all are seeing something different. Partial date, probably about two bucks. That's cool. Okay, this is a nice mixture of dates here. Here's a 27, 1927. Pretty much a full date also. I'm getting a lot of full dates. And generally, full date buffalo nickels are like three bucks. Here's a 36. Always check the legs. The legs are there. And yes, I did purchase these from Coins TV. The link is in the description. I bought two rolls and I wanted to search them live because I haven't done any Buffalo Nickel roll searches yet. <laughs> 1929. Not bad. And when you see a lot of dates, that's a good thing. Full date Buffalo Nickels are worth more than regular with no date. Oh, that's okay. This is a very nice shape, 1937. So on 1937, if one of the legs is completely missing, it would be a three-legged buffalo, like $700. And everybody, make sure you hit that thumbs up. We got over 200 people watching and only 17 thumbs up. So let's make sure we get that a little bit higher. 1920. No mint mark. And actually, so pretty much Coins TV gets these from a high volume dealer that only sorts them for quality. And they're such high volume, they never really check, they don't check the dates and mints. And the fact that these rolls are not that expensive and most full dates are three bucks a piece. I'm, I mean, almost every nickel I've gotten so far has been at least a partial or a full date, which is good. There's a 29. I have searched a few of these Buffalo nickel rolls in the past and done pretty well, so I wanted to get some more. There's another really nice 1929. Here's a 26. Ooh. Hold on. If there's a D or S mint mark, this is way more valuable. No mint. I wish there was. If there was a D or S mint mark, that would have been way more valuable. 36. Check the legs. Nope. Almost every nickel I've grabbed so far is a full date which is really, really good. That is what you want to see. The leg is there. 
But look, that's what you really want to see when you're looking for, through Buffalo Nickels. When there's no date and they're completely worn, there may be a dollar. But full dates are like three bucks a piece, which adds up really nicely when <laughs> you see how much I paid for these rolls, which are in the description of the video. Com and you can compare the price with how much I paid and how many full dates I'm getting. What date is that? Another 1920? No, I don't see a mint mark. In 1920. It's a partial date. Here's a 36. If I find a three and a half legged buffalo or a three legged buffalo, I'd be very. I had a few followers tell me they did find one of those in these rolls. Oh, here's a. Here's a 27 Denver. Okay, that's a that's a slightly better mintage than a regular one so instead of this only being worth three bucks because of the date it's actually worth about four or five dollars this is a nice coin this is this is my best find so far that denver mint made this more valuable that's a good find 35 and yeah anyone who's wondering that's where the mint mark would be on all your buffalo nickels that's where you would check every single time. Always check that. And everyone, I'm only going to search two rolls, so make sure you hit that thumbs up. That looks like a 1919. Oh, please have a D or S mint mark. Is that a D mint mark? I don't see. No mint mark. But he, uh, that's the oldest one I found so far. There's a 1919. That's cool. And, uh, yeah, anybody who wants... I see some people talking about this in the comments. If if you would like to get these rolls, just go to the link in my description. I've, I've bought many of these in the past. I mean, just look how many full dates I'm getting. I mean, that's the, the first easy thing to look for. Generally, full date Buffalo Nickels are like three bucks. Here's a 1935 partial date. A 26. Oh, man. So, everybody, this is a 1926, right? But if it had a D or S mint mark right here, it'd be $10 to $25. Oops. Well, now it's worth a dollar less. No, I'm kidding. Um, if that mint mark would have been there, this would have been way more valuable. That's okay. That's why I have two rolls. Here's a... <laughs> Constantine's laughing. <laughs> uh, here's a 35. 28. Tammy says, I'm new to collecting and new to your channel. Finally got to see a live. Thank you. Hey, nice to see you, Tammy. Welcome to the page. And welcome to the live. <laughs> Here's a 28. So far in these rolls, everybody, I have had not, I have not had one. Hold on here. This is a 29S. Damn. 29S, it's not a valuable date. Some of these S mint mark buffalo nickels are worth a lot of money. But on a 29, it's it's not a key date. Still three bucks, though. I haven't had a single Buffalo nickel without a date yet. That is a very good sign. 27. 1927. Generally, a Buffalo nickel with no date at all is maybe a dollar. Maybe a dollar. Okay, hold on. Here's a 28S. Semi, ah, oh, damn, it's it's still kind of a common date. Still kind of a common date, but it, this is a 28S, and it's a full date, so it's still like three bucks. Still like three bucks. 37. Always check if the legs are missing, everybody. Expect, you know, I think it's really only for 37 and 36, but a 37 with one of these legs missing is $700. I, one of my um, followers on a different platform purchased one of these rolls looked through the roll live and found a three-legged buffalo i'm not kidding he already sold it yeah i have not found a three-legged buffalo but that is what i've been told and he actually searched it live kendall says where do you get a roll of buffalo nickels like that oh the link's in the description i purchased these from coins tv they have a lot of connections all over the world oh, 
especially all over the United States, but all over the world. Um, and these Buffalo Nickels come from a very, very high volume um, dealer. Here's another 29S. And pretty much they're only sorted for quality. I mean, I haven't had a single nickel without a full date yet. Which is, I mean, I had, well, I've had a couple partial dates, but the rest are full dates. Here's a 29S in really nice condition. But they're, ne they're never sorted for dates and mints. And you can all, here's a 28 Denver. Nope, still accommodate a little bit. Slightly more valuable and better condition though. And this one's almost a full date. This is like a $4 nickel. All right, that's a good one. 1924. If that was a Denver Mint, it would have been ten like eight to ten dollars. Hey, what's up, Name Red? Here's a 1923. Oh, that's actually a slightly better date. Nice. Yes, the link is in the description of this video of exactly where I bought it from. Here's a 26. Partial date. Still a partial date, not bad. It's like two bucks. 36. The legs are there. And everybody hit that thumbs up for me. Here's a 19, another 1923. Everybody hit that thumbs up. What is that date? 25? I think that's 1925, which is actually a semi better date. That's a semi better date. So this is actually like $4 for a full date. Not bad. That's a good find. 1920. Oh my goodness. I'm getting a lot of older dates. This is good. 36. I mean, that is a full date, everybody. That's a full date. Okay, one more roll. That roll was awesome. Everybody, so I just searched that whole roll. I didn't have one nickel without at least a partial date. That is awesome. That's one of the best rolls I've searched um, from Coins TV. I bought a couple Buffalo nickel rolls in the past, and a couple were no dates, a couple partials, but not that many full dates, I don't think, ever. So that was cool. One second, let me get this open. Hold on. This is hard to do with gloves on. There we go. All right, one more roll, everybody. Let's do this. We're almost at 100 likes. Let's get there. Here's a 36. I'm... All right, here we're starting with full dates again, everybody. This is really, really nice shape. Check the link in the description and see what I paid for these. I mean, that, that is... If I'm getting this many full dates, I did really well. Here's a another 28 Denver. See, the mint mark is right there. The 28 Denver. Again, these, this one's a little bit more valuable and nice shape. Yes, yeah, a three-legged Buffalo, $700. Here's a 27. Ooh, hold on here. What mint is that? Is that Denver? Oh, this is a better date. That's a Denver Mint 1927 partial date. So, man, that's, oh, this is probably three or four bucks. That's a nice coin. Old school says, I save all your videos for, for reference in the future. Well, I'm glad. Here's a 25. Jay Maxwell says, the one you have is a three-legged buffalo. You missed it. No, I didn't miss any. I, I've been checking the legs on each coin. Which one? No, that's there. Here's a 23. 
Kobe says, can I find these in pocket change? You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I actually went and bought a burrito once and I got a buffalo nickel and a wheat penny back in change, I swear. Okay, I'm, I'm checking these dates again. Somebody said I missed a three-legged buffalo, which I've been checking the legs on each coin. That's not it. Oh, the legs there. All the ones I just... Was it on this roll or the last roll? I mean, that's one of the main errors I'm looking for. It would be like the front leg, I think, or the back leg. It's, it's one of these two legs. Here's a 1920, a 1920 full date. Damn, that's a, man, that's a really nice coin. No, the, the error wouldn't be on the back leg. Nine, there's not 1929. All right, let's keep going. And everybody, this entire video will be posted on my page. All my live hunts are going to be posted on my page. Another full date, 1936. It just keeps going. 1919. Slightly better. And it's part... Even as a partial date, this 1919 is like three bucks. I mean, this is adding up a lot. Val Palmer says the error is on the very front leg and I did not see it. Yeah, I did not either. He said he saw it on the back leg, which that would not be... It's, it wouldn't be on the back leg. Ooh, a 27 Den Denver. Oh, that's a better coin. Partial date. It just keeps adding up. It's like another three or four bucks. That's a 27 Denver mint right there. That's a nice coin. 1920 partial date. I have not had, I have not got one coin without a date yet, which is good. That's, ooh. That's a very nice 1926. Everybody hit that thumbs up for me. Here's a 1937. Check if the leg's missing. Ooh, no, it's not. But if it was, it'd be 700 bucks. Something around there. 1920. Oop. Oh, God, I got to stop doing that. I'm trying to keep the coins in good condition. Here's a 1927. Another... Partial date, almost a full date. Great. Gianna says, can you get these at the bank? Probably not. 1923. That's a nice shape, 1923, which is slightly better than a common date. Constance says, you need a rubber placemat. That is something I'm going to buy. That's a good idea. <laughs> I probably should have that. I like the background of the wooden table, but yes, I will put, I will grab a, a rubber mat. Here's a 1924. If that was a Denver mint, it would have been $8 in horrible, I mean, not even good condition. So, okay. That looks like a 27 to me. It's barely there, but I can kind of see it. Yes, the F is designer initials for whoever just asked that. I get that question a lot. Is that 1917? Oh, man. What do you all see? Is that 1917? If it is... That's an $8 coin. Is that 27 or 17? I can't really see it. I see the slant of the seven right there. And that looks like a one. It looks like a one to me. 17. Oh, well, if, if that's a 17, this is my best find so far. Someone said 27. See, you can almost see the slant right there in front of the seven slant. It looks like a one to me. Maybe I'll put it under a microscope. Somebody said 17. Oh, Mal Mal 
Malachi uh, switched their opinion. All right, everybody. Well, this is probably the best find so far. This is like an eight dollar coin. 1917 is a semi-key date. This is a really good find. Yep, everyone saying 17. Yep, this is this is the best find out of two rolls so far. That's awesome. I mean, that just paid off like 25% of my roll almost. <laughs> so that's that's pretty good. And I, I, I'm not even talking about other all the other full dates. Yeah, I'm going to put that to the side. That's the best find so far. That's cool. Oh, give me, give me a couple more of those. See, now that's a 27. That's obvious. That's way more obvious. And that looks like an S mint too. Bow says, I just sub sub to you. Oh, Bow, welcome to the channel. Thank you for doing that. Uh, Pamela, if you're in Canada, we don't, uh, Coins TV does not ship to Canada at the moment. And I know, I, I'm sorry about that. I have a lot of subscribers and followers I'm in the UK, Australia, Canada. And right now they're only shipping to the US, but hopefully that changes soon. Here's a 26. Toodle says, so full date values apply on vintage Liberty Nichols. On Vintage Liberty Nickels, you mainly look for a full Liberty. If you can see a full Liberty, it's generally better. Buffalo Nickels, full dates are important. Everybody, I see a lot of people asking about a roll. You just go to the link in the description of the video. There's a link in the description. That's a 27. Hey, welcome to the live, Laura. Thank you for saying that. She said she's glad she finally made it. Here's a 29. Oh, wait a second. 29... San Francisco. No, nope. common date. Some oh, pretty pretty common date, but it's a full. It's a partial at least. It's a couple dollars. Probably like two bucks. Thor says this is my first live as well. Well, Thor, welcome. Everybody in here, hit that like button for me. Hit that thumbs up. I just purchased these rolls. They arrived, and I searched them live because it's more fun. Uh, somebody said, what date has the three legs? Generally 1937, 1936, you can find the three and a half leg and full dates apply to all the coins. Full dates apply to all the coins. Here's a 26. Twenty-seven. Thirty-six. Checking the legs. They're there, and it would be on the front two, one of the front legs. There's a thirty-seven. No, the legs are there. Laura says, "What did you say about full dates? Full dates are worth more than regular uh, nickels with no dates. The full dates are worth like three dollars a piece. Piece generally, no dates are maybe a dollar. Partial dates are like two dollars. It's twenty-seven. There's a 23. I can see that right now. 1923. Here's a 26. Yes, the mint mark would be right here. And I have multiple with a mint mark I could show you. I don't know where they went. But then, yeah, the, the mint mark would be right here. Right under five cents. If there is one. 1928. There's a very nice condition, 26. Nice. Oh, Laura, no problem. And congratulations on listing your first coin for sale. That's cool. Let me know if it sells. First live for Laura, too. Oh, well, that's cool. We got a lot of first-timers in here. Cool. Welcome to the live, y'all. 36. All right. Man, those... Everybody, you you just watched me search a lot of rolls. This is probably one of my best finds. This was a 1917. This is like an $8 coin. And almost all of these Buffalo Nickels were full dates. Almost every single one was really nice shape. Everyone, if you decide you want to roll, the link's in the description of this video. That's exactly where I bought it from. I don't think I got one single nickel that did not have a date on it. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll do another live hunt very soon. Make sure you like and sub to the coin channel. And thanks for watching. I'll do another one very soon.
Bye, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for joining.